This is Apollo Control at 2 hours 25 minutes, and Carnarvon has acquired Apollo 11. At uh, LOS here at Carnarvon, we will have uh, several Arias Apollo range instrument, instrumented aircraft in the area between uh, LOS Carnarvon and uh, acquisition at the tracking ship Redstone, so we may have the capability of continuous uh, communications between now and the TLI burn. We'll stand by through Carnarvon. Apollo 11, this is Houston uh, through Carnarvon. Radio check, over. Roger, Houston through Carnarvon. Apollo 11, loud and clear. All right, Roger, you're coming in uh, very loud and very clear here. Yep. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go for TLI, over. Apollo 11, thank you. Roger out. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, we just got telemetry back on your booster, and it's looking good. And Aaron, looks good here. Houston, roger out. It's Apollo Control. We're two minutes from ignition now. We're showing present altitude about 108 nautical miles. We expect to be at an altitude of 177 nautical miles at cutoff. Present velocity, 25,560 feet per second. And we're a minute from ignition. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, slightly less than one minute to ignition, and everything is go. Right here. Ignition. We confirm ignition and the thrust is go. Guidance looking good. Velocity 26,000 feet per second. Follow 11, this is Houston at one minute. Trajectory and guidance look good and the stage is good. Over. Apollo 11, Roger. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Thrust is good. Everything's still looking good. Roger. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Around three and a half minutes. You're still looking good. Your predicted cutoff is right on the nominal. Roger. Apollo 11, go. 35,000 feet per second. Cut off. We're showing velocity 35,570 feet per second. Altitude 177 nautical miles. Hey, Houston, uh, Apollo 11, that Saturn gave us a magnificent ride. All right, you're 11. We'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. That was Neil Armstrong praising the launch vehicle. This is Apollo Control at three hours into the mission. Velocity now 31,214 feet per second. Apollo 11's distance from Earth 1,245 nautical miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Our preliminary data indicates a good cutoff on the S-4B. Uh, we'll have some more trajectory data for you in about half an hour. Over. This is Apollo Control. The S-4B has started its maneuvering to the separation attitude. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, your go for separation. Uh, our system's recommendation is uh, arm both pyro buses, over. Okay, pyro B coming armed. Uh, my intent is to use uh, bottle primary one as per the checklist, therefore I just turned A on. Oh, Roger, we concur with the logic. We're awaiting confirmation of separation. This is Houston, now we copy. Roger. 
We confirm the separation here on the ground. Well, that was uh, secondary propellant on uh, Quad Bravo. Roger, we copy. The Goldstone Station reports a very weak signal. Uh, we believe that uh, Mike Collins is now maneuvering the spacecraft uh, in the transposition and docking maneuver, and uh, the antenna patterns aren't too good at the moment. So we have a weak signal strength. Broadcasting in the blind. Request Omni Bravo. If you read us, request Omni Bravo. Out. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Radio check over. All right, you're, we're copying you about uh, five by two. Very weak. Can you give us a status report, please? Crew has started pressurizing the limb. Houston, we're ready for limb ejection. Uh, Roger, you go for limb ejection. Thank you. In Houston, we are set. We have a cryo press line. Roger, copy cryo press line. Uh, Roger, 11, we recommend uh, you turn the O2 fans on manually and uh, ensure that the O2 heaters are in the automatic position. Roger, O2 heaters are on, and we're going to cycle the O2 fans now. Uh, Roger, O2 heaters to uh, auto, or you can watch them in the on position, and O2 fans manual on. Houston, Apollo 11, we're, uh, we've completed our maneuver to uh, observe the slingshot attitude, but uh, we don't see anything. No Earth and no S4B. Uh, Roger, stand by. This is Apollo Control at 5 hours, 11 minutes into the mission. The S-4B slingshot maneuver was completed about 5 minutes ago, designed to put the third stage of the launch vehicle into a trajectory that will take it uh, behind the trailing edge of the moon and then into a solar orbit. Uh, the crew did not uh, witness this maneuver. The uh, command module was not in the proper attitude where they could see the S-4B at the time. Uh, we've advised the crew that uh, we do not believe that we'll do the uh, first mid-course correction, that we'll wait for uh, mid-course correction 2 tomorrow and expect a, uh, a delta V to be performed in that maneuver of about 21.3 feet per second.